Oh, you're here again. Hi, welcome to another video. My name is Victor Asuncion, the president and CEO of Sky Solar. But today, I'm not only your president and CEO, but I am also a DOE certified energy manager. So, what does that mean? Papakita ko sa inyo. For now, papalitan ko muna yung president and CEO hat ko. And we're gonna wear the certified energy manager hat. So, sana naman maganda. Looks good on me. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng certified energy manager? Today, didiscuss natin yan. Bakit important siya para sa isang solar company or any business manufacturing, industrial business, commercial building, malls, it doesn't matter what. Bakit importante ang certified energy manager? And bakit ba importante na i-manage natin yung kuryente? So, for large institutions, just like us, na everyday tinitingnan natin yung production ng solar energy natin and consumption ng mga buildings natin, it's important that we manage all those details. Because DOE is actually looking at all of these businesses to make sure na efficient use ang electricity nila. So, here, we'll show you one of our energy management systems na ginagamit natin sa mga clients natin and for our own building as well. So, come on guys, check it out. One of the features na sobrang gustong gusto ko, actually computer to ni RTM, papakailaman natin, wag natin sabihin sa kanya na ginagalaw natin, is look at this. Woo! So, if we're talking about ergonomics, hello, dole. This allows us to either have a standing position or sitting down position when we're monitoring our systems online. All right, so let's, I'm sure marami kayo mga questions. All of the power plants that NSKY Solar establishes nationwide, even kahit Mindanao yan, Davao, Cebu, um, Ilocos, Bicol, they are all monitored through our cloud portal right here. So lahat nakikita natin. So it's important that those power plants are connected to the internet so that we can monitor all the details. Okay, so let's go over here. These are a multiple access to multiple portals. Okay, so yung inverters natin na we set up in certain locations, nakakikita natin siya dito. Let's take a look at one example right here. Dito muna tayo sa main platform natin. So we have a diagram right here that shows us yung solar modules natin, yung inverter natin, and yung consumption natin. And mapapansin mo, meron parang dot na gumagalaw. This graph right here shows us a big picture of what's currently going. So this particular site right here, 100% na yung battery niya. So makikita mo yan, 100% oh, yung battery niya. And then the solar module has throttled down already because ang loads niya is mababa lang, 1,000 watts. Let's take a look at it again. Let's just refresh it for a moment. So, click this button para mag-refresh. Nakikita natin na nag-a-adjust, 400 watts na yung consumption ng load niya. We are exporting through net metering 2,000 watts of power back into the grid. So, we're pushing 2,000 watts back to the grid. Binibili yan ni Miralco or kung sino man DU ang, ang connected ng system na to. So, ang lakas oh, yung micro-inverter systems natin is pushing in 5.15 kilowatt power of electricity. So, yung uninterrupted power supply loads natin is 2.65 kilowatt power. Yun ang kagandahan dito is we already get a real-time feed on our consumption. Dito, on this right side, if you could go back to this side naman, makikita naman natin yung breakdown ng imported electricity natin ng gagaling kay solar at galing sa battery. So, makikita mo 32% na lang ang kuryente yung kinukuha niya from the distribution utility for today. Ito makikita natin. Or in totality, kasi 2.49 megawatt hour na. So, sa production naman, makikita natin sa consumption, 74% ng production natin is kinukonsume. And then, 24% na pupunta sa charging of battery and 2% na pupunta sa export. So, onti na lang yung export electricity natin. Majority na pupunta ng kuryente is sa charge. Yun. So, that gives us a breakdown of, it gives us a breakdown of kung saan na pupunta yung kuryente. Because believe it or not, guys, I've been in the solar industry for more than 10 years already. 
So, ang nangyayari, isasabihin namin sa client namin, Ma'am, basta green light yan, gumagana yan, goods tayo. Pero pag nag-red light yan, may alarm. So, ang hirap for the end user to really know, gumagana ba talaga yung solar ko? Maghihintay ka ng 30 days para makita yung billing statement mo. So, the most important part about the solar energy system is dapat monitor, measurable. Dapat na, dapat na ano natin, nakikita natin kung saan napupunta. Gumagana ba talaga yung solar natin? Kung gumagana, ilang, how many percentage siya gumana. So, yun yung nakikita natin sa solar and utilization. Now, even down to the values of our inverter, voltage ng solar modules, voltage ng grid natin, nami-measure din natin siya. Dito, makikita natin yung kilowatt power, yung power profile niya, kailan nag-start yung harvest ng solar module. Makikita natin na, look, at 6.35, nag-start tayo ng production ng 5.63 kilowatt power already. Ayan, oh, production natin, oh, 4.18 kilowatt hour. So, 6 ng madaling araw, ang lakas na kagad ng production ng solar energy natin. And it will ramp up, tataas siya ng tataas as the day progresses. And then we hit our 20 kilowatt power mark right here. So, ang lakas ng production natin. Some of that will go to battery. So, makikita natin, bin breakdown siya. Battery, consumption, supply of charge ng battery natin. How much is coming from the microinverter? Di ba? So, ang lakas ng production natin, we hit 20 kilowatt power right here. We maxed out the inverter. So, that's good. And on the day-to-day -day basis, generation in usage history, matatrack din natin per day, per month, per year. So, come on, guys. Like, this is the perfect equipment for us to break down how much talaga ang nagagaling sa solar, how much ang nagagaling kay Meralco, how much ang binibenta kay Meralco, all those details. So, it's perfect equipment for us to monitor. And at the very same time, makikita mo dito, on the left side, kaya nakapataas siya, is because this is all of our clients nationwide that we monitor. So, ayun, ayun. Marami pa yan somewhere. Ayan. So, anyways, yan. Tapos dun din at the same time. So, the monitoring system that we have right here allows us to do that. This is another example. Ito naman, wala siyang microgrid inverter. So, wala siyang input just yet. The battery is at 69%. Charging siya at 3,000.65 kilowatt hour. Ah, uh, kilowatt power. So, yun. And then, ang load niya is 2.40 kilowatt power. Let's refresh this system para makita natin yung updated power niya at the moment. So, ayun. 3.9. It's the 100% na yung battery pala niya. So, na-hit na natin yung peaks. Because it's already 12 o'clock, lunchtime na. Ngayon lang kami ni Ella nag-shoot ng video because dami naming meetings. But, ayun, we wanted to show the viewers out there that this is how we monitor all of our clients nationwide. So, okay, mag-alala, makikita natin yung production ng solar energy nyo at all times. So, here is another portal that we check. As you can see, yung PV array natin, oh, it's 230.4 volts yung PV voltage, yung current 2.6, power niya 6, um, 621. So, monitor din natin yung details ng mga power voltages natin and current. Sa battery, it's the same. So, 100% na to, makikita mo, current has stopped, power also has stopped, the voltage remains the same because hindi na siya nag-charge. Makikita natin yung grid. How much electricity is coming from the grid right here? Zero. Because everything is being supplied by solar power. And then ang load natin, 1,233 watts. Yung inverter natin is pumping that electricity into the house. So everything is completely zero consumption from the grid. Na monitor natin yan. Inverter data, we go to the inverter data. We can track down in via, via a chart in a line graph yung parameters so PV current natin makikita natin oh. so syempre nung 4 ng madaling araw wala pa naman solar so wala wala pang data dito it started at 6.04 sumikat yung araw ayan oh, nagproduce ng 73 watts bumaba ulit nagtago na siguro si Haring Araw nung time na yun zero PV current akyat na naman ulit siya ng 134 kasi so, mikat na talaga tuloy-tuluyan yung araw natin. So, yun, yun ang kagandahan. 
Um, voltage would spike down pag full bat na tayo. So, nakikita natin lahat ng information. Yun lang pinaka-importante. Daily consumption natin of electricity will show. Frequency, not all equipments will show you the frequency. Ah. For a lot of power plants and large manufacturing companies out there, I just want to put an emphasis on this. Yung frequency natin is important. So, kung you have lots of motors, kailangan yung frequency natin, hindi yan bababa ng 60 hertz. Kasi 60 hertz tayo dito sa Pilipinas. Ambient temperature is also a factor that we need to check. Tinan mo, kaninang gabi, 49 degrees Celsius. Ngayon na mainit na yung araw, lumabas na, nag 56 degrees Celsius na yung inverter natin because it's in operation already. So, if we find any anomalies or problems sa inverter natin, this should be at 60, 70 degrees Celsius. Hindi siya maganda. Makikita mo na nag overheat yung inverter mo. So, later tonight, makikita natin, babalik na naman siya, magnormalize na naman ng 49 degrees Celsius. Gusto ko lang din idagdag. Marami pa siyang components and features na pwedeng Makita regarding our online monitoring system. So apart from all the technical details na na inclusive sa kanya, like yung tracking of power, and at the same time the energy generation, tiniting nandi natin yung financial value niya. So income today six hundred seventy seven point thirty pesos. This hotel right here has profited or saved. 677.30 pesos for today. So because total generation niya has been 21,872.40 kilowatt hour for totality, nakapag-total income na siya ng 284,341.20. Ayan. That is um, dumadagdag ng dumadagdag yan every day. So, ito, maliit to, no? For today, yan, maliit siya uh, for a hotel. But look at that, oh. In a year's time, in two years' time, in collective days through time, lumalaki siya. So that's savings and yung impact na magagawa natin. Even the weather is being able to nata-track down natin siya. So yun yung mga benefits na meron tayo. Again, here, voltages and then voltages again. So those are the benefits of this platform. So remember, ah, yung 284,000 pesos na yan, hindi na pupulot yan. <laughs> Another aspect I just want to include as well that the system does last and last, last but certainly not the least is yung social contribution. So this is one of the things that the Department of Energy really looks at. Ito, Nagbibigay sila ng award and recognition for companies that keep a record of how much social contribu contribution or environmental impact one company has done. So ito, carbon emission CO2 saved. 320.67 tons na in totality of all of the solar installations we've done. I, hindi pa to. Marami pa yan. It's in multiple platforms kasi. 160.86 tons ng standard coal saved and 5,292 trees equivalent planted. So we have a measurement of how much we're, we're able to impact the environment that we have. So this is something that's very beautiful na nakakalculate natin via the electricity that we have saved and used from renewable energy sources such as the solar modules. So yung platform natin hopefully will be integrated into other things as well. All of the information, we can take it out as a report so that we can file this with the Department of Energy, yung production ng solar energy system natin, yung consumption natin, etc., etc. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of a breakdown, a little basic information regarding how our solar energy system monitors your consumption and also monitors production. Kagandahan niya talaga, guys, is ito, you can use this with your CEM or your CEA para makapag-comply ka with the requirements ni Department of Energy on your energy audit. So if you're a large manufacturing company, 
if you are a large industrial company mining it uh, plastic injection or whatever if you're consuming more than 100 kilowatt 100,000 kilowatt hour per year dapat nagko-comply tayo sa DOE so as one of your certified energy managers i encourage you guys to look into renewable energy online monitoring systems to incorporate into your manufacturing or operations para hindi na kayo mamam problema sa mga compliances so if you guys have any questions further or if you want to contact me or you're interested to have uh, somebody consultation you can message and sky corporation you can message me as well directly victor asuncion you can also message us here in this vlog para we can assist you and helping you become a more energy efficient business so again thank you guys so much coming from your pinoy the pinoy tradesman um looking forward to to hang out with you in the next video okay don't forget to subscribe like share comment i'm always encouraged pag nakikita kong yung mga viewers natin is watching our video so thank you very much and god bless you bye bye